What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman, and this is today's oatmeal update. Almost forgot to take a bite of oatmeal. I can't do that. I got bananas in it this time. It looks delicious. A lot of interesting things happen over the weekend. Not so much in the market. The market's not doing much. But if you go look at Glassnode, which is a data provider, the Bitcoin supply on exchanges keeps falling. And this is the lowest since 2017. If you remember, 2017 is when we had that first run from like $800 Bitcoin to $20,000 Bitcoin. Buyers from small retails, retail investors all the way to whales are outstripping the monthly supply produced by miners. We also know that Blackstone is rumored to have about 3 billion tokens. And if ETFs start falling, all of those ETF providers will need to buy some more spot Bitcoin. The halving for Bitcoin is scheduled for April of 2024. And remember, that does reduce the daily emissions, the daily inflation of Bitcoin by 50%. Currently, we're already seeing the lowest amount of Bitcoin supply since 2017 on centralized exchanges. What happens after a 50% emission reduction? Things could get very interesting. This kind of lanes, lanes in with the fact that I believe that Bitcoin will have another run before the halving. Somewhere around $35,000, $45,000 Bitcoin will meander sideways to lower, scare everybody out. And then the fundamentals come into play. And that's where we go to new all-time highs. Probably one hundred and twenty-five, hundred and fifty thousand Bitcoin in this next cycle. On to the next news. Richard Hart, of course, you know, was the SEC came after him. This caused hex price, pulse chain price, pulse X price, and INC price to plummet. But there is some news. The Richard Hart's Hart trial, the first trial, will be November 29th. I already wrote a whole tweet on what I think will happen. I think Richard Hart created these things very intelligently. He speaks very well, and he is already posting legal ramifications on Twitter in pre previous court cases. I think he will win this court case. When does that happen? That definitely doesn't happen on November 29th. But the fact that the date is out there, it gives everybody a date to look for. Um, I believe he's going to win, and I think even after 29th, even if he doesn't win, after what is said, the, the, the regulatory guidelines up until there, and everything else that is happening in the crypto ecosystem, I think we do see a nice rally out of Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and INC. November 29th, mark your calendars. The other big drama is BitBoy. BitBoy apparently is getting kicked off his own show. There's going to be an official news report today, so keep a lookout for that for more details. It's all kind of irrelevant, but... Bitcoin, some people hate him, some people love him, some people think he's a scammer, some, some people think he's a genius. He's getting kicked off his own show, getting kicked off all of his own Twitter platforms and everything, and there is rumors that he's leaving crypto altogether. Now, how does this affect you guys? Not too much. It's more just, is he going to be under investigation? Is the SEC coming after him? What did he do now? What happens to him in the future? He was still, whether you like him or listen to him or not, one of the biggest influencers in the space. So where will those people go? They'll probably move to other people, hopefully myself, Ron, Crypto Wendy, whoever it may be. But we'll look for the official update from BitBoy Crypto today. And then on back of that, if you're in his Ben coin for some reason, that did plummet about 25% after the initial news yesterday. And we haven't even got the official news yet. If the official news is as bad as the initial news, look for another 10 to 15% additional drop out of the Ben coin. All right. The Rolex index, this is an index that kind of prices the average Rolex price. It is down an additional 5%. It has been going down. It was like 29400 It's not like 24400 Why does this matter? Because I don't own a Rolex. Well, it matters because this Rolex index has been an early indicator for collectibles markets. So this is telling us that collectibles are going to start trending down. Collectibles include trading cards, Pokemon cards, comic books, really anything that falls within the collectible ecosystem that isn't attributed to a precious metal. Because there is some collectibles in the precious metal ecosystem, whether it's limited edition coins and whatever it may be, but those have a precious metal pricing backing, so those kind of get excluded. But all other industries, watches and what, shoes, be careful if you're buying here because I think a further dip will happen. You'd be better on Better off holding on to some capital or even selling some of your collectibles now. Look for a downtrend to buy back in. If you have some collectibles that you're up big on that you don't really love, that you don't have on display like some of mine, then go ahead and let them go. I got a whole room over here full of Pokemon collectibles and I will be going through those today to see what I feel like is worth selling at current valuations, what I will hodl, and what just it might be worth ripping because the price is near MSRP. 
And I think I had one more thing I wanted to talk about, and I think it was just the general market. Right now, stock futures are up 100 across the board on the NASDAQ, on the Dow, and the S&P. Everything looks decent today. The futures, it's about to go live, so these futures are pretty much what the market's going to be. That has given Bitcoin a minor boost. It's at 26,138, not much going on. Pepe is still sitting down at the lows at 8,900 after the news uh, that their team members were pretty much slow rugging that project. They got 2% of the circulating supply still available to them. We'll see what happens there, and that's just in their public-facing wallet. If you own Pepe and you're up huge on gains, I would avoid it, guys. Just let it go. Take the gains. Move to better and other opportunities. Um, and then in the stock sector, we got Coinbase still kind of meandering around. We are back in that, down about a buck on it. We're waiting for MicroStrategy. That one continues to flounder. We sold out that at $390. Right now it's at $338. And, of course, Riot we sold at... 1550 and it is sitting at 1042. I'll do a full technical analysis video later today. That is too much to talk about for today's oatmeal update in general. A lot of good rumors, a lot of good news, a lot of dates to keep an eye on, and we'll see how the market goes this week. Stay tuned for more of my long form videos here on YouTube, on Twitter, on learncrypto.io. If you like what we do, join us at patreon.com slash learncrypto for daily updates on crypto and stock technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news.